Hey guys, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> I know I said last time that uh, we only need one upgrade, but we're actually going to get another one for a good reason, and I'll show you why. Uh, we're going to go into here, and we're going to go get the bunker slot upgrade. And just fit that in really quick. And I'll show you why. I know I was saving up for the medic thing, and if we go to the star map... What's our general status, Matt? We've picked up a distress call from the planet Agria. There's a colony there under attack by the Zerg. Your convict buddy Tychus lined up a mission retrieving another artifact. It's on a Protoss shrine world called Monolith. Now, Agria will give you uh, 100,000 credits and fire bats, and this one will give you uh, uh, 11,000. Uh, sorry, um, one, one, <laughs> 100,000. Uh, sorry, 110,000. Money, uh, resources to use in the in the armory. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, um, so uh, with that, with respect to that, uh, it's a much better choice. Uh, although firebots would be useful for base defense, just just early on. Uh, you know, it's the it's not really required. You can still pull it off without. It's still kind of difficult, though. Obvious boys think there's another artifact in a world called Monlith. Supposedly, there's Protoss guarding it. A group of fanatics call themselves the Taldarim. Now, don't get all sentimental thinking these Taldarim are your old Protoss buddies, because they ain't. All right, well, let's launch this one. There it is, Jimmy. Just like Mobius said. Easy money. I don't know. There's a lot of Protoss down there. We're gonna have to... What the? Warning. Multiple Zerg biosignatures detected. Ah, oh, hell. Them critters were just hiding on the ground, waiting? No idea, but you can bet they're headed straight for our shrine. Well, that show complicates things. We can't fight two armies at once, partner. With any luck, we won't have to. We only need to hold the area at the top of the shrine long enough to extract the artifact. So we'll land here and cut our way through the Protoss lines while they're busy with the Zerg. It's only a matter of time before the Zerg overwhelm the Protoss. We'd best grab the artifact and be long gone by then. Now, there are some artifacts on this mission, but what you can do is you can play it on Brutal and skip them at first, and then play it on Easy after if you want to still get it for your research. Uh, I'm going to be getting them anyways because I'm a total badass, so, you know, if, if, you, if you like the challenge, then I'm going to be doing it all throughout just Brutal, never, never doing anything like that. If I miss something, I don't get the reward. Anyways, I'm making a medic and S starting with SCVs. You need a lot of SCVs. It's the way it always works. And I will have to stress to you in the very begin in this very first mission, uh, if you lose any units, consider restarting. Um, units are extremely important for all well, in general, but for this especially. Don't worry, you have all this thing, so you got a lot of time. Warning: Protoss stalkers are gathering at our perimeter. Transmission. I got something new for you, cowboy. Marauders, the latest word in big bada boom hardware. I ain't sure this is the best time to be experimenting, Swan. Best time there is. Let the marauders loose against those stalkers, and you'll see. It's a little bit of micro. Uh, it will require that, but uh, generally, you know, uh, you don't you don't have to go out this soon. Um, you can let them come to you. I mean, you do have the ramp. It's just the way I roll. Okay, they gotta come after you first. So I'm gonna just. Oh, uh, it's only one came after me. All right, we're gonna let them come up to us here. I want to build a barracks right now, but uh, oh, there we go. Okay, so let's go build our barracks now, and we're gonna actually build a bunker right now here, and we're gonna just cover this ramp with marauders, cover up all the entrances. Go 
And you're gonna also want to put two guys on gas. And keep pumping out greens. Oh, well, marauders. And SCVs. Oh, fuck, I lost one. And that way they have to go through the bunker. Uh, you should have the bunker about done at the same time. Uh, I didn't quite manage that. But, you know, you could probably do it much better. Alright, uh, we're gonna get these guys out here. And that, that SCV is done, so let's bring him back. We're just gonna finish off this area. Alright, run away. And there you go. You get to you get to pick him off just by running away like that. And we're gonna keep pumping out units, because that's what I keep saying. Units are good. And I think at this point you're almost at the at the point where you can probably start making additional bunkers. Oh, that that's tr that's totally your call. Oh, you lost. Cut up a marine. Ah, I hate him. Alright. Get that second one out. And get these marines back, because there's probably an attack coming soon. Oh, no, no, no. Get back. Uh, these guys can stay and attack them. Should be, we shouldn't have too much of a problem with that. And with this same... Oh, well, here they come. Don't bring the Marauders back. Uh, do bring off a few SCVs, though. Uh, trust me, if you make the, if you make that mistake, uh, you're gonna lose. You're gonna lose a lot of your Marauders to to the Zerglings that do attack, and it's it's a pretty much make can make you really angry. <laughs> and you just now spawn the Marauders behind. Remember to bring this back up, or they will surround it. And don't forget about supply depots. Obviously, I did. Because I can't actually quite see my supply counter right now. Now, this one's a little bit interesting. You can get both of the uh, uh, pylons without actually having to venture in there too much. So just keep them, keep them on hold position while you manage other things inside your base. That's what, that's what I like to do. And I'm going to just make him go do something else. Now here's what I like to do. Poke. Uh, usually he he will attack. Not always though. I don't know why he's not. Because not enough units. Uh, but I see a good number of... I have a good amount of resources right now, so I'm going to just uh, handle that for a second. Alright, he's done. And with that, you can now just go attack them. And now we're going to have two dedicated uh, Marauder training facilities. And we got a lot of bunkers too, which is also extremely nice. Now that, now that you're done here, you're actually going to go head back. Because uh, they do attack again. Uh, remember not to not to open the thing until uh, that your units actually get here. Because Zerglings are damn fast. And they really suck to deal with. There you go. Now you can bring them in. So, we're going to wait until the next attack is over. Um, you can also have a dedicated SCV, uh, SCV now for mining. Uh, I'm going to actually make him build a... No, well, I, I don't have an engineering base, so I can't do turrets. Okay, and here comes the second uh, attack. Stim them all in the bunkers. And they're done. Now we have a good amount of marauders right now, uh, so what you can do now is, uh, well, let's just let's just make sure you can heal. Okay, we're gonna actually take these marines with us, and you're gonna see there's a re there's a very specific reason for that. Got a lot of money. It'd help if uh, I could actually spend it. I guess it wouldn't hurt to get another medic or two. Alright. Now we're going to move these guys out. A lot of Marines. 
Gotta love Marines. Okay, now we're going here, uh, just so we can take out this. And there's there's our good our good old friends Void Rays. There's only actually one real one. Unfortunately, I, I moved my Marauders back when I shouldn't have. No, 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 don't. These guys, this one's not real. Don't have to worry about him too much. Okay. And let's keep Marines coming in. And just queue them up. Uh, although queuing is not something you typically want to be doing in a StarCraft game. Uh, you know, if you have this much money. And we lost one medic, but that's okay. I was pumping out some more. Now, note that you do not actually have to take these guys out. Uh, you can just pretty much leave it be. Well, I'm going to just take him out just for the hell of it. And we're actually going to head back now. Because uh, we have actually a good amount of units. And the reason you'd retreat is because there's actually somewhere else we want to go first. Once again, make sure that there's uh, no units coming. Oh, there you go. We can, we can pop in really quickly, though. Actually, this is not even a problem. Alright, you can keep the Marines here, though. Where we're going, we don't need Marines. And it's right here. We don't have to worry about that. Okay, and down here, this is where the other artifact is. Just draw them out. Best choke point ever. That's why I waited to have lots and lots of marauders. And we're gonna go up. We're gonna go back up. Luckily, we do have a lot of marines now. Okay, we're heading back now. Uh, this should be sufficient enough to defend your base. Uh, you can bring them all out uh, if you want at the last minute to go to the final area. That's totally your call. And you notice the Zerg is almost inside the main base here. They're gonna still fight for a bit. Uh, you don't. You don't. You're not that short on time. Now, generally, you do want to have your Marines in the back, so you know what? You can take them out of the hotkey group. I am having trouble doing that. I'll just take him out like this. Alright. Uh, okay. And just make sure you raise your supply depot again. And these guys can just be now used for reinforcements. Wow, I need a lot more supply depots. I don't even have a lot of uh, barracks, so might as well. Don't be afraid to back up if you think you need to. They do hallucinate, so do watch. And luckily the Marines do stop to attack. You don't want to be too much in the photon cannons. Luckily I don't think they actually uh, care. Alright. I think we're pretty much done for that. So let's bring all these guys back. I'm just bringing a lot more guys with us. Just before the final battle. Uh, looks like we actually lost our medics. Uh, so let's go pump out a few more. Might as well just start pumping marines like hell. So these guys can have a good time just attacking these guys. I don't really care. It's it's because I lost my medics. That's not a good idea. Uh, you don't want to run around without medics. It's a shame too because I had a lot of I had a lot of resources with that. Uh, sorry, a lot of uh, mana with them. You just want to make sure that you have it. Don't worry, they're not going to get up here for a little bit longer. Uh, you just pay attention to things like that. Alright, and I'll do more Marauders. Oh, I'm actually out of gas, that's surprising. 
Well, I'm running out of other resources too, that's besides the point. Let's just uh, make sure this SCV isn't idle for too long. I'll need to make sure that, because when, when you get the fast heal rate, it's so good. Alright. And before you go in, uh, just make sure everyone's healed. If you want, you can make a save, uh, in case something doesn't go in your favor, but, you know, like, sure, I'll do it, might, might as well. Here it goes. Smash and grab. And then you just step onto the nice little beacon here. And oh dear god! Focus him down. Obviously clumping up is not a good idea. Alright, we win. I got a crew coming down to pick up the artifact. We got what we came for. Let's hightail it out of here. I forgot how resourceful you were, Jim. I won't make that mistake twice. Kerrigan. Already. Oh, well, there you go. And, uh... So, there's a bunch of things here. Well, we, did, we didn't do it in less than 50 minutes. We did it just over that. And a lot of that time was me going back and backtracking and things like that. So, you know, it, it's not that difficult and hard. You just you just skip all the shrines as well. That's how you that's how you want it, that's how you get that one. And uh, that's basically done. Oh, I didn't actually lose any units to the Stone Guardians. I didn't even realize. I wasn't paying attention to that fight at all. Uh, but yep, that that would have done it. That would have done it definitely. That's funny, Convict. I don't recall giving you access to our database. Just keeping up on current events, Captain. Seems this Queen of Blades got everybody running scared. <laughs> she don't look so tough. You have no idea who she is, do you, Tychus? Don't matter to me, none. Well, it matters to Jim. They were... close once. Wait a minute. <laughs> You're telling me they were shacked up? Apparently she was something else. Before the Zerg took her. Turned her into that. And Jimmy feels responsible. Honestly, if we have to face her again, I don't know what he'll do. Woman like that, there's only one thing to do. Caught Tychus hacking into our database, sniffing around about Kerrigan. I don't know what his game is, but we clearly can't trust him. Matt, me and Tychus ran together a long time, got in all sorts of trouble. When the law finally caught up, he took the rap for both of us. Never once ratted me out. I got a second chance, he got locked up. I understand your loyalty, sir, but... I owe him, Matt. Leave it be. Yes, sir.
Hey, the cantina. Guess you heard the news by now, Rainer. Looks like you're back in business. That I am, Mr. Hill. And fighting the Zerg and Dominion all at once is gonna take its toll on my standing forces. You got any guns for hire? But you know the invasion makes it a seller's market right now. Still, your bartender over there makes a hell of a Mai Tai. So, sure, I've got some mercenary contracts you might be interested in. You're all heart, Mr. Hill. Uh, these are the ones you do get. Um, you can get this one, but I'm not going to even bother with that. Your Mobius buddies ever happen to mention that the Queen of Blades wants these artifacts too? Hey, they just give me the missions, man. What's it matter anyway? Putting that bitch down would be doing everyone a favor. I thought it was just about the money with you, Tigus. Nothing says I can't do my part for humanity and get paid well for my trouble. Right. Man, you creeping. Knocking a few back, huh, sir? I'm down with that. Revolution's a little slow today. Buy you a drink, sir? All right, let's see the news. This is Donnie Vermillion live from UNN. Tonight, we're going to discuss the infamous Queen of Blades. Scientists and military insiders have long speculated that the enigmatic alien is, in fact, an infested human. That's right, Donnie. Is it possible that the leader of the Zerg has a human heart? More importantly, Kate, could this mean some kind of Terran-Zerg alliance is possible? Donnie, there's never been any evidence at all to suggest that infested humans retain their free will. You make a good point, Kate. The question is then, how do we kill her? That's one I think we all can agree on. If humanity is to survive, the Queen of Blades needs to be eliminated. Thought I'd left this behind on Marsara. How did it? Tychus. Just can't let it go, can you? Right, let's go see what's on the bridge. Are you all right, sir? Confronting Kerrigan again after all these years. We've got to stop her, Matt. No matter what she's after. Well, we gave her a setback today. The artifacts are obviously important to her. I just wish we knew why. All right, let's go check out the armory, and then we're done. Up, oh, Marauder. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> Forty-seven percent of Marauder operatives have never been to jail. Only twenty-three percent have been <laughs> accused of murder. That's great. Oh, they fire grenades and stuff, so that's always nice. All right, let's go check out uh, what we're gonna buy. You can get uh, well. The first thing we we are gonna get is we're gonna actually get the stabilizer pack. That is the best upgrade uh, for so early on. It's also the the concussive shells, which are also nice, but uh, not necessary. Depends how much you use Marauders, and also the twenty five percent, twenty five extra life. Uh, both these, if you have the money, go ahead for them. Uh, I'll see. I'll see you later down the line. I still want to get this combat shield. Possibly I'll do this because I think you do get them in a couple of missions as well. Uh, particle accelerator I'm also kind of interested in. So I think that pretty much cuts it for this. Uh, I guess that's it for this one. I guess we'll be doing the uh, rescue uh, the citizens in the next mission. Have a good one.